ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is me <laughs> with a very long and overdue absence of seven months, you know, um, kind of ashamed about that. Things in my field went kind of haywire, kind of caused a war and everything, and then it all went sideways, and it's been a real chaotic mess, and there for a while, I just... I just wasn't feeling up to it. Then all this new stuff came out and I felt so far behind because, well, let's face it, seven months later in this game, yep, I'm, I'm a little bit behind. So I wanted to start off, first of all, by just thanking the people that have pushed me to continue to play and also have encouraged me to do videos. Um, let's see here. I've got a few people that have messaged me that are not from my original field here. I'm pretty sure Jack Carl, Jack's Carl, whatever, Jack's Carl, Jack Carl, um, Mimi, Wanted, there's some other people in here as well that are not from my field, but they're from a while ago. Pretty sure America. Those are all people that have messaged me from due to my channel here so I wanted to thank them especially as I explained to them hey I haven't made any videos recently and they're encouraging about making more and things like that and they've continued to still ask questions so I want to thank them also people that are in my core uh, huge huge thank you to Sarah Buzz Lightyear even Santiago I guess if I have to if I have to thank him I mean he's <laughs> We don't talk as much as we used to, but hey, he still encourages me. VR's always been nice to me, which is that 600. He's selling if anyone wants his accounts. Pretty decent, actually, so I wouldn't uh, deny his account at all. Um, Hadrian's always been there to encourage me as well. Penguin and Clip. Huge shout out to Sugar and Spice, whose actual name is Sarah. She's in love with me. L, don't, don't get jealous. I'm not going to marry her or anything. She's yours. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's an inside joke. I probably shouldn't even have that on here, but I do. It's out of my mouth. I'm not taking it back and I'm not restarting this. And Debrog as well. He's always been encouraging. I've got several people in here that are always encouraging me to make more videos. Uh, Anna Cakes and uh, Stoke. Stoke you lovely devil you you're always trying to get me to make more videos so uh, there's a lot of people in here that I didn't mention that are always helping me and encouraging me to just make the videos you know right now talking I actually feel like oh let's see I was raised real religious so for me it's basically like walking into church for the first time in five years which I've done so uh, I, I know how it feels to do that and everyone just stared at you like what he's here it's like yeah I'm... <laughs> hey guys things are bad I'm here anyways that same kind of feeling now because I've been absent for you guys for seven months I haven't responded to notifications questions on on my channel all this stuff so I just I feel like a dirt bag if if I were to be putting it nicely I feel like a dirt bag so um Back to Debrog real quick. I understand he has an account in another field. I think I want to say it's 284. That might not be the right field. But anyways, there's this girl there named Mandy. He claimed to have known me, and she said, "No, you don't. You don't know Born Assassin. You're 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 full of yourself. You know. No, he he does. We're we're in the same core. I mean, why he didn't just get you on line chat and send you a picture of his name and my name in the same core? I don't know, but Anyways, yeah, he knows me, so stop calling people liars. People do know me. Sarah has people in other fields as well. And they've always thought it was cool that she knew me. We haven't met or anything. Someday, found out that they actually have relatives near me, so that's nice. I'm still out here in low, low uh, totem pole of Egypt in America, which would be South Dakota middle of no place but hey you know what i got mount rushmore and i got the sturgis rally and things like that kind of cool i don't think so anyways 
back to the video. I just want to take a minute there and joke around, be lighthearted for a minute because I'm pretty nervous about this video starting out. So <clears throat> now the jitters are gone. Let's go into the reason that this video is being made. We're going to be talking about feet today. And as you can tell from the title, sorry, it took so long for me to start on that. Um, feet is a very common element to get. You get it by fighting people and also by attacking the uh, time lord, uh, time traveler. When it's around, occasionally it seems to always switch out between air force point, spray, and feet. People don't seem to understand feet at all. So first of all, feet is used in your command department of your department center. Um, feet is what is used to upgrade each section in here. Um, the first section only goes to level five, the next four go to level 10. Commander goes to level 20, Guardians I believe is also 20, and Sergeant Major I think is 20. I don't have them maxed out, so I can't say if that is or is not true. Commander I know is maxed at 20 because it says at max level. Otherwise, down the bottom of the screen, didn't mean to back all the way out. Sorry about that. Um, and then click on upgrade. It'll show you how much feet you need to upgrade and what you're going to be gaining with that upgrade as far as for your percentage. Just like any other upgrade you do in the game, it shows what you're going to be getting. So as far as for how to obtain feet, like I said, um, time traveler and attacking are the only two ways to get it without spending money. You can always spend money on feet if you go into your packs under all, I think it's under administrative. No administrative is building. Choo -choo -choo -choo. I don't know why I'm making choo-choo sounds. Where is it? Is it under other? I know it's in here someplace. And feet can be purchased. I personally wouldn't recommend spending money on feet uh, oh yeah there it is it's under other so you can get basically what is that 100 times 160 would be 16,000 feet for 20 bucks yeah let, let's face it people that's not going to get you very far when you have to have 300,000 to do stuff you'd have to buy that $20 pack like 40 times to have enough for that one upgrade so it's just, uh, it'd be kind of redundant and stupid to do that. So I would not recommend spending money. So Time Traveler, you can get it from there. I don't attack Time Traveler for feet normally, because that's not something I want to waste troops on. So I only use, I only do Time Traveler when it's spray or um, Air Force tech points personally. I mean, if you want to get feet and you're that desperate for it, you most certainly can attack the time traveler but i don't feel that it'd be worth the troops that you're losing and the small rate at which you get the feet but once again that's just my per personal preference so i did mention that you can get feet by attacking people this is true but there is also a catch to it the game only allows you to get thirty-five thousand feet in a rolling five day period so what that means is that if you get, let's say, let's say you manage to hit someone and you get 33,000 feet. And then you hit another person and you get, let's say, 400,000 feet. That's still allowed because you're under that 35,000 feet cap for that five-day rolling period. If you hit someone and you get more than 35,000 points, you're eliminated for the next five days of getting any feet at all. Um, it might sound a little complicated. I'm going to try and break this down for you. So feet, basically, when you attack a player, you are given a hundredth. Not, not a hundred times, but a hundredth of the percentage of feet that uh, of power that someone loses. So I'm going to go and show a rally here that was done. Um, as you can see, I got 1,550,522 feet for this hit. We failed, but because we're the ones attacking, you get the feet because it's taken away from the power that your person you're attacking loses. So if you look, he lost 155,052,224 powers, what he lost. So if you were to... 
multiply that by 0 0.01, which is a hundredth, it'll move that decimal, sorry, it'll move that decimal over two places, which then would put you at 155,000. Yeah. No, it would put you at 1,550,522, so it would move it over two spaces. And that's basically how you would break down how much feet you would get. So if we look at this, let's see if I can find this here. So because I did this rally and I got all that feet when I did the second rally, because it's still that same day, I didn't get any feet for this hit. That would have been another one almost 1.6 million feet that I would have got, but because it's in that five-day period, it doesn't happen. So if we look at this report from July 5th, I also am full because it's still in that five-day rolling period. Now, if we look at the one from the 7th, I get feet again because it's after that five days. Um, another thing to look at when you're, when you're considering this, basically... You want to kind of figure out your targets. I understand sometimes you're going to have something come up and you're going to want to hit someone like I did in this instance. I found this person, they were unbubbled, <laughs> and I wanted to smack them. So I did, but I forgot that the day before I had attacked this person. Hi, Cron. We all, pretty sure a lot of people probably know who you are if they've ever been in a deep battle with you. Um, but because I did this hit here, which I'd forgot about, I did not get the 732,000 feet that I would have gotten from this hit. So if you can, you want to kind of plan your attacks out. You want to look and see and always try and do your biggest hit first. That way you're maximizing the feet that you get and then from there go through and hit smaller people. So if you are involved in deep battle, or if you're involved in the kill event in your own field on the off weekends, don't go out and pillage for resources first and hit these small accounts where you're going to end up getting that 35,000 feet cap. You don't want that because if you do that, you're hurting yourself in the end to get more feet. Um, obviously, like I said, sometimes an opportunity is going to come up. Someone's going to have their bubble down and you're going to say, "Ooh, I want to hit that even though you're out of your you're still in that five-day rolling period, and you're not going to get the feet for doing that. But it is something that you do want to try and keep in mind. Uh, feet is very important as it does make a rather large change in what you get here for things. I mean, if we look at even just, I guess I can't look at the ones that are full, but if you don't have a full... Um, command department, it would be smart to go in there and look and see what percentage you get for each level. I'm pretty sure all of them are either 5%, some are a quarter of a percent. But if you go in and look at that, and then you multiply it by however many levels there are, so if there's 20 levels, you multiply that by 19, so it's getting you basically an additional 9.5%. It may seem like a small amount, but in the end game, it actually adds up to quite a bit. So if we're getting half a percent for all these stats, we're at level 20, you take away half a percent times 19, we're taking away 9.5%. Originally, you're only getting, what is it, 27? No, 20, 28% is what you would have been getting initially from here, but now you're getting 37%. So when you're looking at your rally capacity and your deployment capacity in this particular set for Commander, um, that is that adds up to quite a bit. I mean, getting an additional 16% um, for the deployment capacity, I'm pretty sure that's a quarter percent you get for those. So basically, I got an additional 5% or something like that. So for that one, it's not as big of a deal, but it still is helpful as far as for getting your, mat, your max march size and things like that. So it is it is important to do the math and figure out that, hey, feed is important. Is it worth throwing hundreds of thousands of troops at for the time traveler? That's a matter of perspective. Because let's say you're a small account. You, you stay in a bubble, whatever the case may be. Let's say your field's at war like mine still is. Because this war's been going on for a long time now. And we're just not 
quitting, even though we're up against some big dogs. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked again. Um, but let's say you're in a war in your field, so you're in a bubble, and you don't want to risk popping your bubble to go out and get, let's say, 500,000 feet in one hit, things like that, by hitting, by attacking someone, obviously. Um, but you do want to still work on maximizing your your um, department's building. In that case, yeah, sure, it might be easier for you to just attack the Time Traveler because there, at least, your bubble is not popping. You can attack that without your bubble going down. And at that same time, you can kind of dictate what troops you lose, whether you attack with all high-tier troops, low-tier troops. You're not really risking anything. And you can still use your Sally and have wounded troops left, just like it is if you were to hit someone. But... Like I said, in the end, you're not going to be able to get as much in one hit from the time traveler as you are from hitting an actual person. Um, unless you're only ever hitting small people anyways, then maybe it would be better for you to hit time traveler in that instance. Um, my farms, I'm not really concerned about the department's building just because they're, they're farms. They don't really do a lot of attacking. They just get resources for me. Um, but that is... So that's, that's not something I can actually look at and see how much you get. Um, but I'm pretty sure that even if I were to hit with my main, the, the most I'd be able to get in a hit is probably 600,000 feet by the time it's done. I, I don't know that for sure. I actually haven't ever hit when it's feet, so I have no idea. But if I'm basing it off of spray and air force points, that would be my guess. Is that you'd be getting anywhere from either... 60,000 as a max, 600,000 as a max hit, or maybe it's even just 60,000. So when you do that math and you look at it and you realize that it's a lot easier to just get the feet by attacking people, to me that seems worth it. But then again, if you're not trying to lose your troops by someone attacking you while your bubble's down, it would make sense for you to um, just use the time traveler anyways because that does not pop your bubble. <clears throat> I think that does cover everything here with the feet. I can't think of anything else on that. So please, if you have questions, if I did miss something, if I need to explain something better, please let me know and I will do my very best to do that in a message. Um, and I'll attach it to this uh, video so that way it's right there in the notes. Um, in the meantime here, I do have a strategy to not be absent for seven months again. I'm going to be doing um, weekly videos. I'm hoping to do uh, video every Saturday and Sunday for the for the foreseeable future. Um, I knew I I know I do plan on talking about um, your garrisoned planes. Um, I plan on talking about gears, chips, pilots. Um, the toy structure and how it is and how it's actually easier to <laughs> kind of dictate what speed ups you get and things like that. Um, I'm going to be talking about the lucky wheel, utilizing the coupon store, um, different things like that. Some of it, yes, is going to involve um, the spending players only, but the majority of what I'm planning on going over uh, should be attainable for people who are still free to play as well. So please do stay tuned for those. I, I think everybody on here who's been still, even though I haven't had a video up in seven months, you guys have subscribed to my channel within the last week. It, it's unbelievable. I came back on here and I was looking last week and my my subscribers have almost doubled since I since my last video. So that is cool to me. It might seem small to some people, but to me, that's that's pretty cool to see that even without me doing new videos, people are still watching this. So that is very cool. Um, I think that's all I've got for now. So thank you, everyone, once again. I really appreciate all of you, and I look forward to talking to you. Yeah, talking to you, not with you. <laughs> Let's face it, no one talks back except for me occasionally, which luckily you guys haven't seen that yet, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I'll be talking to you all, hopefully, in the next six days, because today's Sunday for me, so 
uh, yeah. Oh, and another uh, video I'll be doing is uh, kind of utilizing your marches and officers to um, maximize your gathering effort so that way you can get as much as possible as quickly as possible instead of uh, duplicating officers and uh, canceling out talents and things like that. So that's another thing to kind of look forward to. Otherwise, I think I'm done. So this is the true assassin saying um, talk to you later. And I hope everyone does have a very wonderful and productive week. And that's all I've got. Thank you. Thank you very much.